Hello and welcome to another broadcast of Deep Cough in a Deep. I'm your host, Jeremy Lopez, and man, it's an awesome day today. We've been talking about the law of attraction recently, and I'm going to continue this series because I'm fired up about it. Are you? I'm fired up to know that, you know what, whatever I think upon, whatever I focus on in my heart, man, the atmosphere begins to bow down to that, and it begins to be attracted to what I'm looking for. And you might say, well, that sounds pretty new age. That sounds you know, a little bit funny here. But you know, the scripture says, we've, we're going to recap for a moment. The scripture says that as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. So you've got to be careful what you think about and what you, what you ponder on. Remember David in Psalms, how he would say, you know, this and that, you know, verse and phrase, and all of a sudden he would say, Selah. Selah means to meditate, to ponder upon it, to focus on that. Why? Because the more you meditate upon God's Word, whatever you think upon, whatever you Selah, whatever you ponder upon, all of a sudden it begins to get down in your spirit and you begin to have life springing forth out of that thought, out of that meditation, out of that thought, that principle that somebody just said to you, or maybe you just read in a book or the Bible, and all of a sudden it becomes life to you. And all of a sudden creativity begins to, to come about in your thinking process. Because what happens is your thinking process or, or seeds come in seed forms and it is projected out there to the atmosphere and all of a sudden it prophesies and it begins to say, hey, you know what? Come over here, because I'm thinking about you. Come on over here. I'm a magnet, and I'm drawing you to me. So I'm here to tell you, it's an exciting day we live in, because we're beginning to understand that as a man thinketh in his heart, man, so is he, or the Greek says, so is it. So now is a great day to focus on, you know, the Bible says, focus on things that are pure and holy and good report. Do you know what a good report to me is? A good report is saying, hey, you know what? I'm going to live and not die, according to Psalms. And you know what? The Bible says I can prosper and I can live in good health. The Bible says, you know what, I can, I can accelerate into God, I can go past the, the, you know, the veil because it's been rent, and I can, I can ask God whatever I so desire, and if I believe in my heart the things that I'm thinking about, I'll be able to have. So see, it's a great day to live in because revelation is being poured out to you. And I want you to ponder on the fact that God says, I've given you all things that pertain to life and godliness. That means, praise God, people of God, that means whatever you need, you already have it buried deep in your spirit. He says, I've given you all things, so there is nothing in life you shall ever lack again from this moment on. Do you know why? Because now you have the revelation that, you know what? I don't have to go seeking after something. I don't have to go find something. I'm not a pomper. I'm not some you know slave. I am a servant of the Most High God. I am a son of God. We're talking sonship here to you. You're a son of God, and he says, I've given you all things. So what happens is when you begin to be awakened to the fact that you have all things that pertain to God, to life, to godliness, on the inside of you, praise God, that means that is going to start prophesying to your atmosphere, and it's going to start saying, you know what? This son of God needs prosperity. This son of God needs a new car. This son of God needs his ministry multiplied. This son of God needs some good people he can trust around him. Have you ever found out in your life or looked in your life and said, you know what, man, all I ever attract are people I just can't trust. Have you ever looked at a woman's life, maybe a woman or a man who is always in an abusive relationship, and all of a sudden, man, it, it ends in a horrible, messy divorce, maybe of, of abuse or torment, maybe through your words or through maybe natural, you know, fleshly beating up, and all of a sudden you go to somebody else and it's a constant rotation, a constant flow. You, you seem to attract maybe people that can constantly, you know, tear you down by the words or maybe, you know, a, a woman who always gets an abusive relationship constantly. See, it's time to break that cycle. It's time to break that rut. You have the power of life and death in your tongue, and your tongue responds to the thought process out of your heart. So you got to get down in your heart and say, you know what, heart? It's time to start thinking and focusing on something good, a good report. My life is starting today on a good report. No longer will I be in an abusive relationship. It stops right now with me in Jesus' name. I'm going to start thinking and focusing on pure things, on holy things. Why? Because I'm a champion. And champions don't have to put up with this kind of stuff. Champions accelerate like eagles and they don't break. They begin to accelerate. They're winners. They're not losers. And see, the more you focus on, I'm not going to track this. I'm not going to track, you know, in my life an abusive relationship. The atmosphere responds to not the fact that you're saying you don't. It responds to the fact what you're focusing on is abusive relationships. So you constantly are in that rut. So as a champion, you are called by God to break that cycle. 
have your mind renewed and say, I'm going to partake of God's divine nature and change that cycle today in my life. And I'm going to start thinking upon, you know what? I'm a champion. Man, I'm in great relationships. No, don't even say to yourself, I'm going to be in a good relationship. I'm going to have this business. I'm going to have kids one day. No, you say, you know what, man? I got kids. I got beautiful kids serving God. I've got a wonderful spouse, man, who loves God. Don't say, you know, one day, someday it's going to happen. You start saying, you know what? Today I got it. I have it now. Start believing in your heart, confess it with your mouth, and your atmosphere will, will automatically, like a magnet, the law of attraction will kick in for you and say, hey, you know what? This person says it is, and so be it. Do you know what the word amen, amen means? It means so be it. So therefore, you have to speak so be it words out of your mouth by saying, I'm in a great relationship. Man, I'm loving life. Life is great. Life is awesome. I have, I have all sufficiency in all things. And the atmosphere prophesies to the law of attraction. And it says, you know what? That person says it. That person is it. So everything around it begins to bow and obey the voice of the thought process within your heart. Amen. Hey, I'm getting excited. I hope you are too in this great series. Tune in next time. We're going to continue this. Got a lot of good media revelation for you. So tune in next time here on Deep Call on Your Deep. And remember, God's deep is calling out to your deep. It's time you answer the call today in Jesus' name. God bless you. Amen.